Hello friends, welcome to Codeboard. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to run a Java program using Notepad and CMD. Now, this is very outdated method and all the developers are using IDEs such as Eclipse and NetBeans to run Java programs. But it is very important to know how to run the program using, uh, using CMD and Notepad. So, let's get started with the video. Here, I'm taking a new Notepad file and let's go ahead and write the code. So we will start with writing a class called hello. As you know, every Java program has a main method for a compiler to know the starting point of the program. So about the syntax and how to write a Java program, we will see in the later videos. But for the sake of this video, we are going to see how to compile and run the Java program using Notepad and CMD. So here we will simply print a high statement and check how the CMD is going to compile and run the code. So let's go ahead and save this file as hello.java. It is very important to have the class name and the file name same because the compiler should know which file is to be compiled. And I'm going to save it as a Java source file. So let's go ahead and compile this and see if it compiles successfully. I'm going to open a command prompt where my file is located. It is in the F drive. So I'm going to use Java C command, which tells the CMD to compile the hello.java file. So now here an error is printed that Java C is not recognized as an internal or external command because we don't have JDK installed. JDK is a Java development kit and it is very important to have JDK in our systems to tell uh, in our systems so that the Java program compiles. So it is a complete kit required to compile the Java code. So let's go ahead and from the first link that you see that is the Oracle site, we are going to go ahead and download JDK. So there are various versions available here. Uh, I think Java 8 is the most suitable, Java JDK 8 is the most suitable version for my PC. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. You can choose any version. So here, depending on the system that you own, there are various versions available. So I'm going, I'm having Windows, so I'm going to download it for Windows. So I'm going to accept the license and click on download Java JDK. This will redirect me to the sign in page. It is important to sign in to the Oracle site. If you don't already have an account, please go ahead and create an account. So I already have an account. So I'm just going to sign in to the Oracle page. And very soon my download should start. So the download has started. So as you can see, JDK has been downloaded on in my uh, system. Let's go ahead and install it. So the installation process is very simple. You just have to click the next buttons and the installation will start. On this screen, we choose the path where the JDK is installed. You can also change it if you want. So just sit back and relax until the installation process is completed because it takes a lot of time as well. So just click on the next button. Uh, there's a next button at the top. I don't understand why we're not able to see it. But uh, if you can see there's a small next button on the top, just go ahead and click it. So again, we can see the progress bar. Let this progress bar complete. So we can see that the Java JDK is successfully installed. If you want to read the documents, just click the next steps button. 
otherwise just close it and now we are going to check if the java jdk is successfully installed we are going to the path where it was installed so it is in program files java jdk folder in the bean folder you can see there is a java c file so this means that java c has been installed now if we go to our command prompt it should run successfully it is also important to set this path in your environment variables so go to the environment variables change edit the system environment variables and in the path variable if you scroll down you can see there are various other paths don't remove any other path otherwise other softwares won't won't work properly so here you just have to add the jdk path now i already have it added in my path so i'm not going to add it again if you want to add it just go to the end of this value and add a semicolon and just paste your path up till bin folder give one more forward slash and click okay and apply this will successfully set your java c path so let's go again back to cmd so we have to go to the path where uh, the file is written so i'm opening it in f drive and let's write java c hello dot java again and see if it compiles successfully so this time it has compiled successfully since we have no errors and we will run it using java hello and it prints a hi that is our program is successfully run so now let's remove a semicolon here and check if it is running so this is how an error is printed on the command prompt i have removed a semicolon purposely let's add it back and check so if i run the program the hi is printed again so this is how you run the program using notepad and cmd for more such videos Please subscribe to my channel and share this video.